hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing a makeup look for clubbing slash a night out so we want to do like um flawless face but at the same time a makeup that's going to last you all night despite the sweating and whatnot and also we're gonna go kind of all out i usually feel like when you're doing makeup for a night out it can be very forgiving for you because the lighting is non-existent like there's no lighting in a club um people's judgment is impaired if you know what i mean and um I don't know this is the time i feel like for you to try out looks you know to try out those eyeshadows in the palettes that you have that you never use and you're like whoa no i would never use that this is the time when you're going out and no one is going to be looking closely at your makeup like they would in daylight this is the time to practice your wing liner this is the time to pr practice wearing your false lashes because if they're falling out in the club nobody is going to notice <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started so today i'm going to be starting with my eyes just because i want to do like a really bold out there look and if i do my face first and then maybe there's fallout from the shadows i'm going to use and then it's going to mess up my foundation and stuff so i'm going to start with my eyes first and then the face okay so i've quickly done my brows let's jump straight into the eyes like i said i want to do something bold and also like i said this is the time to go all out experiment try on all the colors because the lighting is going to be so forgiving to any mistakes that you might make so i'm going to be starting with the transition shade and the crease shades and i'm mostly going to be dipping into my morphe 35 o palette i'm going to start off with a nice light brown shade so now i'm going to deepen that up with a deeper brown which i'm going to put on the crease by the way you guys a tip that i recently learned from wayne goss who is like just the best at makeup tips and this makeup tip is definitely gonna change up your I shot what am I saying makeup tip I shadow tip and it basically is what you blend extends so he basically says you just need to put product on one part of the eye or if it's foundation on the face and then blend it out and it will extend okay and then you won't get that patchiness or you know where you've put too much product which is why I'm placing product at the corner of the crease and then blending it in to the rest of the crease it, it's a game changer you guys ideally you should put you should pack on not pack on you should put the product um in the at the end of the crease with one brush and then blend out with another brush but i'm using the same brush but different sides so i'm putting the product at the end with one side of the brush then turning it over to blend the product into the crease okay now i'm going to go even darker in the crease so i want to do like a um, shimmery green smoky eye kind of a look so i'm going to go in with my eyeliner this is a gel liner and i'm going to put it all over the lid just to really get that um smoky effect even after i put the green whoops i don't want it to reach all the way up to the crease so i'm just really gonna focus it more towards the lash line i'm also not going to go all the way out into the outer and inner corners otherwise that will get messy when it comes to blending now i'm going to dip into a black eyeshadow just to smoke out and help me blend out this liner and i've taken a more pencil like um brush because it's really going to to be a bit more precise and help me really get into the crease i need to blend that out this is actually like a look on its own before even adding the green 
It's a really nice um, smoky eye. But we're adding the green. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a shimmery green eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is from like a really, really old palette. I think from an NYX palette that I have had for years upon years. But it's the only green I could find. I'm just gonna blend that out slightly. Okay, I like it, I like it. Let's put on some false lashes. I'm going to take my highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters, the Wet and Wild Mega Glue um, highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and then highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the face. I'm just gonna wipe out any fallout, even if there's barely any. We're going to come back and do the lower lash line um, after the face as we're baking. So I did a whole video on oil proof, sweat proof makeup that you guys can check out. I'm basically just going to be following these steps because you want your makeup to be to stay matte throughout the night and just not get oily and sweaty and cakey as you dance and you know all the activities for the night so th that's basically the routine the foundation routine i'm going to follow so i'm going to start off with my setting spray going in with a primer So now I'm going to go ahead and do the powder before foundation technique just because this technique really controls the oil, the sweat and all of that. You will go and dance and do whatever and your makeup will still be looking flawless and matte and just beautiful. I'm going to use my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder and it's actually written here that it's an oil control formula so... Hmm. I don't think I'd ever even seen that before. This powder is more or less my skin tone, which I'll recommend if you want to do the powder before foundation technique and you're going out to the club, then you should use a powder that's your skin tone. Now the one you usually use to set your foundation rather than using a translucent one because with a translucent one, you will get flashback. And then I'm going to go in with my Revlon Color Stay Foundation because this foundation stays so well throughout the night um, or throughout the day, whichever it is. So that's what I'm going to use. Let me remind you again what you blend extends. <laughs> so you don't need to like dot your whole face, which is exactly what I was about to do then I remembered what you blend extends so i've just put a little bit and then i'm just actually going to blend that out on the whole of this area and it will actually extend as you can see okay i'm going to go ahead and conceal i am not going to go um two shades or three shades lighter with my concealer because again we're really trying to fight flashback if you're going out at night photos will be taken the flash will definitely be on and you don't want flashback so i don't want to go too many shades up with my concealer in fact this is more or less my skin tone wabosha has done an excellent video on flashback and how to prevent it which i'm going to link down below because you definitely need those tips if you're going out and you don't want flashback again what you blend extends I've remembered only for this eye. I totally forgot for this other eye. I'm looking back at the footage <laughs> and my green eyeshadow looks a bit more on the teal slash blue side, but to me here it's green. It's totally green. But anyway, I'm going to set the concealer with my Sasha buttercup powder so now as that's baking i'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line i want to smoke it out and also put some of that green eyeshadow there so i'm going to start off with that black eyeshadow that i had used and just apply it And 
and then now I'm going to put the green right under that or maybe to you guys the blue <laughs> I'm going to use a bit of a brighter eyeshadow in the inner corner. I feel like that highlighter wasn't bright enough. Okay. I'm gonna put mascara also, but first let me dust off my setting powder. And then I'm going in with my black opal powder yet again to set the rest of my face. And now I can go in with that mascara. Um, I'm using the, the Maybelline Falsies Push-Up Angel. This wand really, really gets your lower lash line, like lower lashes. It really gets in there because of the wand. It works, it works on each and every lash. We're looking good, you guys. We're looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and powder contour. Um, I've really been feeling powder contour of late as opposed to cream contour. So I'm just going to use a dark brown eyeshadow from the same Morphe palette to go ahead and contour just to bring some color back into the, to the face. I never usually do this, but hey, it's a night out. So I'm going to really go ahead and define that contour even more by putting some setting powder under. So I'm going to give this a minute to settle in. If you leave this for too long, then you'll get like a line that's not pleasant that you don't want. So don't leave this on for too long. Let's get into lips. I'm going to go a bit boring with the lips, <laughs> which if it's a night out, I feel like the lips is where you can really experiment. This precisely is the time to bring out those green lipsticks, those um, blue lipsticks, those shimmery, crazy lipsticks that you feel like if you wear during the day, people will just be like, um. So if you're not confident enough to wear those kind of shades during the day, the night is the time to bring them out. I'm just going to go with this brown lipstick. This is by a company called Joy Lips. They sent me a bunch of their lipsticks and this is one of the ones that I really loved. For a night out, I really feel like matte lipsticks are the way to go. You're going to be getting drinks and you just don't want your lipstick transferring onto everyone and anything and all the glasses. <laughs> so going with a matte lipstick will make sure your lipstick doesn't transfer um, throughout the night. Ooh, ooh, I think it's time to dust this off. It's been on for long. I'm going to put on some blush. If you guys have noticed, I'm not usually like a blush kind of person, but it's a night out, so we are going all out. <laughs> okay, now we can highlight. I'm going in with that Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. It's a night out. I feel like you definitely can go a little bit heavy-handed on the highlighter because you know you want to glow in the club <laughs> i think i need to add some on my brow one it needs to be as patricia bright would say shining shining it needs to be shining so now i'm going to finish off with the setting spray this is the same one i had used earlier Nothing for me says club like hoops, so. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed some of the tips I shared. This smoky eye, you can replace the colors I've used with any colors you want to use. Go all out to the lip color, go all out to the highlighter. This is your time, you know, the night, this is your time to practice all these things, the lashes, the winged liner, all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you feel now your club ready and hit the subscribe button just in case you're not subscribed. Also comment down below with more makeup looks for different situations you would want me to do. I could do different ones, could be, um, graduation makeup could be 
bridal makeup just whatever just comment down below more looks that you guys would want me to do and i will do them so i'll see you guys in my next video bye